Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here. I have been a tutor for dental hygiene students and dental assisting students for the past 13 years in total, so I love teaching. Um, this episode video will be about why you get sensitive teeth. So you might be wondering, why are my teeth sensitive? And there's actually a term for that, and it is called hypersensit uh, hypersensitivity. Um, so about sensitive teeth is it can be avoided, but if you have sensitive teeth now, there are ways for it to prevent it from getting worse. And there's also ways to help um, not cure, but help to kind of cover up the sensitivity a little bit so you're not as sensitive. So the first thing is how does sensitivity happen? It could happen from not having proper oral hygiene. So if you're not brushing and flossing, then that plaque that is staying on the teeth hardens into tartar. And then all of that um, kind of eats away at the enamel over time, for lack of a better word. And if something's eating away at the enamel, that means less enamel, and then the underlining layer is exposed. And that's when things become sensitive. So to sort of cure that is to start taking care of your teeth because you, you do not want it to eat away at the enamel even more. That's very important. Using a hard toothbrush could cause hypersensi um, hypersensitivity because if you're brushing too hard, you could be taking away some of the enamel and some of the gum tissue around the teeth over time. It doesn't take a lot. So you, you might be thinking that you're helping by brushing too hard, but you're but you're actually not. So there is a fine line between brushing too hard and not hard enough. So how I said earlier, if you do not have proper oral hygiene, if you're not brushing properly, then that's also a bad thing too, and that can cause hypersensitivity. If you're drinking a lot of soda, a lot of pop, things that are overly acidic, that can cause hypersensitivity also because it is eating away at the enamel. So anytime you have something acidic, have a cup of water and just sort of swoosh around because that will help to eliminate the acid attack in the mouth because every time you have something acidic, you are actually having an acid attack inside the mouth and the teeth can't handle acids. It's just how it is, right? But of course we have to eat, drink, live our lives like normal. So you will have some acidity in the mouth, but that's also why it's so important to constantly have water and pop, um, um, energy drinks, sports drinks have a ton of sugar, very, very acidic. So, so even completely avoid those if you can, because you do not want your teeth to become sensitive. Now, once the teeth do become sensitive, there are ways to help that. So the best thing to do is to purchase a sensitivity type of toothpaste. So like there's some brands out there, there's um, Sensodyne, there's Colgate Sensitive. So look for a, um, a sensitivity type of toothpaste, but they are all a little bit different. So ask your dental hygienist, which one is the best for you? Because there are different ones. Plus, they probably have samples. So, so there's no point buying one and realizing it doesn't help, it doesn't work. Ask your dental office for some samples. Um, but another thing too, that once you start to use those toothpaste, it does take a couple weeks to actually become, um, become effective because what those toothpaste do is they do form a thin layer over the teeth to help protect them. So once it starts to form, your teeth are protected to some point, but it does take a couple weeks and you have to use those toothpaste twice a day, every day. If you use it every day, maybe every other day, and then use a different toothpaste, they won't be as nearly as effective. So you might as well do it right. Toothpaste are not expensive, so why not, right? Um, another form of treatment could be, if you have moderate to severe sensitivity, if you go to the dental office, they might be able to apply, it's, it's like a bonding agent over the tooth. So it, it helps to cover up the enamel. They um, paint it on, it's clear, um, and they shine a light to um, harden it to the tooth, and then that should last for about six months. So that will actually help to form that layer over the teeth. And if you continue to use the toothpaste, 
that helps even more. Um, so those are just kind of some little options, but every situation is different. So please um, book an appointment with your um, dental office and they will let you know the type of um, hypersensitivity that you have because there are different types and then they will let you know how to treat it and how to avoid more in the future. So I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, please let me know because it's not nice to have sensitive teeth. Trust me, it's not a nice thing. So um, thank you so much for watching and if you need anything, just let me know.